All right, all right, I'm back. Um, I went through the settings, and I'm not sure that the, at this point, whoops. I'm not sure that the uh, audio was of full volume. I'm trying to figure out which settings for audio. So I wanted to check this one, and then I also, for this one, I'm going to splice these together, I think, uh, into one video, but... I uh, went ahead and changed the settings so that this will be 1080p when it's uploaded. Or the video as it's recording is 1080p. So, <clears throat> I'm hoping that the audio, I, hope, I think, I'm, I'm not sure that I don't, that I have the audio. It looks like there's different settings in the audio here for uh, things instead of having one settings for all audio you have a choice which I guess is reasonable because you want to be able to have audio from perhaps a game you're playing but you don't want it to be overpowering and you want to have you know the voice here so so anyway I'm not sure what uh, I haven't checked it first in fact I'm just going to splice them together and upload it so anyway I'm working on things haven't had breakfast yet haven't had my morning meds yet I think I filled these containers wrong it I normally have more pills than these uh, God. supposed to be overflowing with pills and I uh, I have one for each day I, I've showed well you'd never find it but I did a couple videos on it in the past pill container which I thought was a great idea and I'm not so sure because uh, now I do it like a week at a time and of course you you know meds are there and then when you take it you put it in the container and then you know that you know but uh, it's a pain I mean just doing a week's not bad but doing an entire month putting them in these little containers is a pain but anyway thank you very much for watching hello uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth Texas today's date it is February 4th of uh, 2020, it's hard to say 2019. As you can see, if you were watching my video yesterday, yesterday I was running uh, yesterday I was running Zorn 15.1 Ultimate Ultimate I installed it yesterday. Um, it costs forty dollars, by the way, if, if you download this version. <clears throat> you can download for free a couple other versions, and then you could add all of the um, audio, visual, uh, graphics to it. But Ubuntu has, I downloaded this. In fact, I downloaded it at the same time I downloaded the other, but paid $40 for the other. This is free, Ubuntu Studio 19.1. And I messed up again as, as usual. What thinking? When I installed the, uh, my memory's going. When I installed the Zorin, I did it correctly, and I disconnected my 4 terabyte uh, USB 3.0, and so, you know, I installed Zorin. I formatted, I didn't try to leave Windows on or anything, I just formatted everything, okay, because Zorin was what I was going to use yesterday. Um, 
yesterday morning. So I installed it, uh, and I made a couple of videos with it, I believe, and maybe one video with it. Uh, works okay, worked good, very happy with it. And then I knew I shouldn't. I decided, okay, I'm going to go back, because I always run dual boot, but I wasn't going to put windows on it. I decided, I think I'm going to try out, because I've used Ubuntu a lot of times in the past. And I think maybe a long time in the past, I even uh, tried their Ubuntu studio. But that was a long time ago. Maybe I didn't try their studio. But I thought, I'm going to give it a try, because Zoran was working well. I was happy with it, and actually felt like I'm going to stick with it and not go back to Windows. But I thought, okay, I'm going to make a dual boot uh, with Ubuntu. But it was late at night, and I was tired. I'd been up a long time messing with stuff, and I forgot to disconnect, which I still have it disconnected, by the way. I forgot to disconnect my... Uh, USB 3.04 terabyte hard drive. So be sure, my recommend. I'm, I'm not an expert at all on uh, Linux or well, a lot of stuff. But I learned a long time ago, many years ago, uh, disconnect, just have your hard drive when you're doing these installs of Linux. Uh, just have your hard drive. Do not have an external USB drive or anything at all hooked up because it's going to want to install on, you know, at least something on your... So, but anyway, I had that... I didn't do it and I installed Ubuntu Studio and Problems. So what I did is I went in and just didn't take very long, just disconnected the USB and I haven't hooked it back up yet. Um, and then I just installed Ubuntu Studio, you know, and formatted the entire hard drive on my computer. So that's the point we are today. I just now did it. Uh, by the way, this is a 4K monitor, but I very rarely ever use it in 4K. I've mentioned this many times. Um, but both times, of course, or both of these installs of uh, Linux, when it starts up, it kicks into 4K mode. Now, of course, you can go in right away, which I did do. And uh, get back to 1080p mode. But that's, you know, you're kind of straining there in the beginning, looking at the stuff as it's being installed. Because I have, of course, a number of, I don't know how many, three or four at least. 10, I could just hook up a 1080 monitor, but this looks so good. This Ubuntu Studio, I mean, the design of it. Everything I might just uh, give the 4K a uh, a run again and see uh, how that works out for me. But right now I got it in 1080 mode. By the way, uh, I wondered if in the um, Zoran because it came with OBS, which as you can see is. Uh, 0 0.0.1 very beginning but it appears to be working um, I wondered if they would have that on the Ubuntu studio but I figured they'd probably have to because you really you know that's what people want to use for making these kinds of uh, these kinds of videos um, so it is there, you know, it is very basic, but, uh, oops, let's see, I have my, yeah, that slide is over here, because my image is over here, I believe. Uh, I 
I'm, I normally have it on the other side, but it with the way the, where the camera location is or whatever, then it this way it looks like I'm looking, you know, at the at that what's on the browser. Um, You all know what I'm doing because I always pop up so you, so we know in a time frame frame or whatever. Because uh, if you're looking at this video a year from now, see I started in 2005 here uh, on YouTube. But in a year or two years or five years or ten years from now, if you happen to pull up this pull up a video of mine, you know. Uh, They'll have an idea a little bit of a, oh, yeah, that was back when such and such happened, or whatever. <clears throat> Let's see, tonight is Tuesday. This is, I think, the State of the Union address is, I think the President's State of the Union address is, I believe, tonight. Anyway, the Iowa caucus messed up, apparently, big time. I haven't read all this, but apparently some uh, Democratic organization, I don't think it's like a, I mean, it's like a company set up to, you know, uh, contract or whatever with other, and it just happens to be that, you know, it's a Democratic, I believe, uh, company, not politically, but it's, uh, you know, that's what they were going to, so... This company designed, you know, all this way of, I guess, doing stuff using computers or, or entering information in computers and that kind of stuff. And, and I guess they it just kind of messed up. I, I think the, who cares, I mean, in a way, but uh, I think the news media, all of the news media is really upset and pissed because last night I happened to use... Echo, I actually use the other word though, but to listen a little bit to CNN's audio, and they were saying we're going to get the results and the, you know, all it's it's uh, we're going to get the results here and uh, you know they, their final results should be coming and then the re final results didn't come and haven't been announced apparently yet so so the news media is pissed you know I'm sure but I I. Iowa doing this first, you know, I was always been a, for me, I've, and for a lot of other people, uh, kind of strange that, a, you know, Iowa has very few uh, blacks in it, in the state, and uh, there might well, there may be the states that have fewer, but I mean, it's just not, of course, I guess we'd like to have our first one be Massachusetts, which is a democratic, you know, very democratic state. But anyway, it, it just seemed like a, <clears throat> seemed like that I was always been a pain in the butt for this type of a situation. But they want to be first because they get all the candidates going up there and whatever. But anyway, so. Um, So it looks like OBS is working. So I want to try these other, it looks like my audio is working, it, it appears to be. Um, sure glad that OBS, I, I don't know what I would do. I guess I probably wouldn't have gone to Linux if, because in Windows, of course, I paid for a number of <coughs> excellent programs for screen copy and streaming and all that kind of stuff. But for Linux, uh, so, and it, so the, the people, whoever they are, that uh, work on these various programs or whatever, I'm sure they're going to be working very hard on making OBS the uh, right thing. So I'm glad of that. Uh, kind of worried about now when I hook up my USB 3.0 4 terabyte 
I know what's going to there's I know that there now are some directories or whatever of Linux installed on here. So I don't know if I can just I don't know if it's safe just to go in and delete them uh, or just leave them alone. I don't know what to do, but I guess I'll be hooking this up. And I, if, you never, if you never hear from me again, this is this is the reason. Anyway, I got uh, a lot to keep me busy today going through Ubuntu Studio and trying out the uh, all the programs. I have, uh, what, is it Kindle? Kindle Lite? Kindle, what is the, uh, the one for editing videos? Uh... Kindle Live. I need to look at some YouTube videos showing how to do that. And then I saw a YouTube video, and I don't know what Premiere Pro is, but I saw Kindle Live versus uh, Premiere Pro, so I'm getting on, so that's going to be, I don't know how much you have to pay for it, and I guess it's going to be running uh, in Linux. My nose is going to start to run, you know, I don't know. I don't have a cold, and it runs, or it bothers me all the time. Uh, I think this video is going to be rendered because I didn't go in and change it. I ran the uh, uh, brain is not working. I ran the OBS thing and it came out uh, to render it uh, less than 1080p. So, you know, it, it, it runs it and tells you, okay, here's what you should uh, use. But I always use at 1080p as what it's going to be recorded at and saved and, you know, rendered at. So that's one thing I'll need to go into and mess with. Um, do appreciate appreciate it very much you uh, watching, and I'll upload this to YouTube, and we'll see what it looks like. And uh, then today I'll be, uh, let's see, down here at the bottom, it's uh, CPU usage is 17.8%, 60 frames a second. So, thank you very much for watching.